Hi everyone, today I want to talk to you about the solution I've found uh, for a common problem that every LV1 user has. I'm talking about uh, the Ethernet redundancy between front of house and stage. Uh, I have come to a solution uh, which is not too expensive and it works. Uh, let's have a look together. I have set up an LV1 system using a combination of DigiGrid and Crest Tactus interfaces and we are simulating what happens between front of house and stage. Here we have the LV1 and this is the number of interfaces and server we have connected. I will go into detail. We have a DLI connected to a 96. We have an NGB which is hidden there that I'm not using because I don't want to update the firmware. We have an iOS here which is also acting as DSP server. We have a Cisco SG300 which is connecting the two studios. It is a 28 port. In this studio we have the two switches, switch one and switch two. Switch one is the switch supposed to be at front of house and switch two is the one supposed to be on stage. We have a combination of interfaces, two IOX, another DLI, and if we go to the other room, we also have a tactile stage 32 channel interface and a couple of headphone boxes, the Q. I've been buying two second hand Cisco SG300 28 port switches. You can find them on the market for 200 pounds, second hand, and they do the job perfectly. I have configured uh, three uh, VLAN and uh, done a redundant connection between the two switches. This is simulating what the long snake would be on a show, on a concert. This should be a 100 meter cable. And today we have one meter cable, but it should be the same thing. As you can see, port one is used for management. VLAN two is SoundGrid. VLAN three is SoundGrid. And VLAN four is used for local internet. These are the two links that I will show you in a few moments. The system is clocked at 48 kilohertz. I have plugged a pink noise generator here on channel one. We can hear that. We can see that this little box is active as well. We go to the other studio and we listen what happens. So, that's the pink noise that comes from the other studio. I will now disconnect and reconnect the VLAN. Now we are using VLAN 3, so you can understand for how long the sound will be interrupted. Yes. Uh, I'm going to show you now, I will switch real time between VLAN 3 and VLAN 2 and see how long it takes for the Cisco to resync. I hope this fixes the issue uh, and 
will give you more safety in your work, in your mixing. And uh, I'm not a very technical person, uh, but I will be happy to answer to any question you may have. So feel free to drop a comment below.